Hi, I'm Jake. In this video, I decided to show you how to key out yourself or the object from the footage. I'll show you three basic techniques using green screen or even just a sky instead of green screen or blue screen. Difference matte technique, which I've used in these videos, which you can see on screen right now. This technique is great because you don't need any equipment, but it does require you to shoot the video in right way. And finally, rotoscoping. Now you can also see an example on your screen where I've used a rotoscoping. It's basically the last resort of keying. It's almost like you manually cut yourself from the footage. Let's get started. To import your footage, you go to File, Import File. And then you have this footage. And drag on this icon to create new composition. So first example is just a simple green screen. But it isn't have to be a green screen. You can use a sky as a blue screen, which I've used in this video. I just cut this footage. And simply just by using key preset, I drag this preset from effects and presets panel, which you can find here. If you cannot see this panel, you can go to window, effects and presets. And type here key and you'll get this under the presets, this preset. You just click on the color which you want to key out. With these values, you can key out the rest of the colors. And also you can open the screen mat. As you lower this value, you'll get more details of yourself. Also, I like to add matte choker. It helps to cut the edges if you need. You can also play with these two values to get better result. If you'll keep this choke value pretty low, it will not affect that much the footage, it will clean those edges. Let's also take a look on this example with the green screen. I just downloaded this footage from the web. And let's apply a keying preset. And also choose this green color with this color picker here. Just left mouse click and pick this color. You can apply this advanced pill suppressor. And take a look at these edges. As you can see, you have green colors. And just by enabling this effect, you just magically it disappears. Next keying technique, which I use all the time, is the keying using different mat. For this, I'm gonna use with the footage from Ant-Man tutorial. So basically, to work with this different mat technique, you need to shoot your video in a particular way. First of all, you need to shoot your video on tripod. Your camera does not have to move even a tiny bit. Also, lighting in your scene should not change at all. So if you film outside, like I was shooting this video, make sure that you have cloudy sky, so lighting of your scene will not change and you would not have any shadows or people walking here. It should be a really clean shot and only thing which is moving in this shot will be cut out. And you also need to have just a few frames of your clean background, like this. As you can see here, the only thing which is different is me. Then when you have video like this, you just need to select your footage and go to edit, duplicate. We need to find the moment where we have this clean shot like this with the time cursor in the point where you have clean shot. In my case, it's the end of the video. Then right mouse click on this layer and go to time, freeze frame. Then I like to have this layer below and just completely off by clicking on this eyeball icon. Then select this top footage, which we have here and apply difference mat. Drag and drop on your footage and here in difference layer, you need to select this second layer, which we have with the clean plate, like this. So basically, as you can see, it just looks between these two layers and try to see what is different. And as you can see, the only thing is different is me and also minor details. We can change this mesh intolerance value. Our goal is to bring back as much as we can of ourselves like this and as little as we can of the background. We can also apply matte choker effect. And with this effect, as you can see, we can just get rid of, of this garbage here. As you can see, by lowering this chalk value, I can just bring back more of myself. And with this geometric softness, I just can cut most of my background. And in my case, I just can use this rectangle tool to cut myself completely out from the footage. So let's get back to our footage and drop this footage into our new composition. And I press S on keyboard to scale it down. 
So as you can see, for these kind of effects, it works pretty good. And now let's take a look how to use rider scoping. So to cut out yourself from the screen, you need to select your footage, then double left mouse click on it. And using this rider brush tool here, click it, and you'll have this green cursor. If you hold control on the keyboard, you'll be able just by moving left to right, change the size of your cursor and then just start drawing on your hand. As you can see, my drawing is not so good. If you need to remove some parts, you need to hold Alt key on keyboard. Your cursor turns into red color and you just can remove these parts like this. You can also use scroll on the mouse to zoom in and zoom out. And by holding spacebar on keyboard, you can click and drag to move around your footage. Then release your spacebar. And now you can also hold Alt and delete these parts which you don't need. Then using this preview panel here, you can go to next frame. As you can see, it automatically tries to follow your hand. You need also to expand here this little tab, like this. So Rada Brush tool will track your hand till the end of your footage. Let's click play. In some cases, it will lose the tracking. You can use this green cursor to add some parts like this. And with holding Alt key on keyboard, you just can remove these parts and continue tracking. And then when you have your old footage tracked out like this, you need to click on this freeze button. Because if you will not click on this button, it will lose all the tracking data. Even if you will save your project, it will not keep it. So you need to click on this freeze button to keep it. It will take some time. And now if we go back to this main composition, the edges is pretty rough. So for this we can use feather to feather them out. Like this. You can also use this contrast to make them a lot more clear. And with this shift edge, as you can see here at the fingers, you can cut out unwanted parts of your image. In some cases, you can also use motion blur. If your movement was too fast, you can increase this value a bit. Thank you for watching this quick tip video. It's a great time to support my channel via one of the links in the description below. Or just simply subscribe to my channel, and leave a like and comment if you want more beginner types of videos like this. Your support is very much appreciated. Thank you.